today. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Did you ever think this kind of thing would happen? No, well, you know, well, back then we didn't really think about that sort of stuff. I didn't know this was happening until last night. But, but I got a big kick out of it because I haven't seen Jack and Peter and Simon. I mean, I know Gary, but I never really worked with Gary. It's just mm -hmm. wandering in and out of their sessions in the same room at the same time. And I was just standing there watching them take pictures and stuff, and I realized that I'd done 10 albums between Eddie, the three of them. I'll we, see you maybe Saturday, all right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll see you Saturday, Carmine. Oh, you're not gonna go to the Cat and Fiddle, then? You're not going to the Cat and Fiddle? When? Now. Now? Yeah. I may go there. I have to go drop a couple of tapes off, then I'll... So I'll, next I'll time, I'll just barge in on you next time, I'll too. You okay, bye. Hey, man, man, how are you? We gotta start again? So specifically, what <laughs> albums um, would these artists have you worked on? Well, it's funny actually, because Peter reminded me this afternoon that when we were doing, I did the, engineered the first two Humble Pie records, which, which went quite quickly. And Peter reminded me that I was working with them on town and country during the days, and then they'd leave, and I'd stay behind because I was working with Jack Bruce at night doing songs for a tailor. And so I did two Humble Pie records, first two, and then engineered songs for Taylor, and then Jack was in a band with Leslie West and Corky Lang, and I co-produced those two records. And then I did another solo album, which I produced with Jack in, I don't know, 1974 or something, a solo album called Out of the Storms. I was there for that, I remember. That was a lot of plan. fun, at the yeah. record plant, yeah. yeah. The old Third Street, Astro sure. Burgers every yeah, night for right. everyone. Yeah. And then, and then I didn't work with Jack after that. And with Simon, I did four records with Free. Mm -hmm. Engineered a couple and produced a couple. I mean, I was down as producer, I'm sure, as I still get little, mm -hmm. little weenie royalty checks from those things. Mm -hmm. So it was great to see him all in the same room at the same time. Mm -hmm. What about Ringo? Never worked with Ringo, never even met Ringo. I used to do bits and pieces for Apple, but no, I never never worked with Ringo. Worked with, with Paul and George a few times, but not Ringo. Mm. So the state of uh, the art of equipment has changed quite a bit over the years since you started with all that. Well, funnily enough, sometimes I look around, obviously there are a lot more tracks available if you want them now, but quite often I find myself sitting in a room and it's an old Neve mixer and there's a lot of the old microphones there because they are some of the best mics and you know the monitoring might be a little different but not much so and you and you're probably trying to get some old Marshall amplifiers in there and the guy's got you know a 1950s Les Paul so a lot of the gear is from from the same era obviously all the computer stuff you know was undreamt of then really but we still use the old gear and all the new stuff too, you know, whatever, whatever works. So how do you like this rock walk thing here? In the oh, it's fun. This is the third one I've been to and it's, uh, I get to see people I haven't seen for a long time or just a lot of old friends and it's a blast. I came to the one for Ginger and, um, and Bonham and, and Keith Moon and I hadn't seen Ginger for a long, long time. And I came to the one for Jimmy Page I hadn't seen Jimmy for ages and saw a lot of other people, Mick Fleetwood and, you know, just old pals. And then this one, this, this has been the most fun because, you know, three of the guys I was intimately involved with and Jack's still a very close friend of mine. I talk to Jack all the time, we're very close. Well, that's a great event here. Yeah, it's great. Good old, good old guitar center. And go to the gig on Saturday and hopefully have a, a big Yahoo, you know. A lot of great music too. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. I haven't been to any of the rehearsals yet, but go to Soundcheck and make a day of it. Should be fun.